What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus package update, daily news, everything going on here in our country, in Washington, D.C., with the economy, money, investing, the stock market, everything you need to know about on a daily basis. Remember the new videos come out here on our YouTube channel at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're new to our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos. Also, we're giving away $2,000 in our What's in This Box contest. If you can guess what's in that box, you could win money directly from me, and I will be giving you a clue to what's in that box at the end of this video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video so you don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe. And let's jump right in because we got a lot to talk about. Also, don't forget to give these videos a like down below if you find these videos helpful. It only takes a second and it really helps out our channel. The stock market is crashing yet again on fears of Omicron, the new virus variant spreading across the nation and spreading very, very quickly. As uh, the CDC says that cases in certain areas are doubling in as quickly as 1.5 days in certain areas. Yeah, you can see here the Dow Jones stock index is down 633 points here um, as of time of recording here just a few minutes before our videos go live. 633 points makes it one of the largest stock drops of the year for the Dow Jones index. That's almost two, point, uh, two percentage points intraday. That brings it down below 35,000 here for the Dow Jones. Uh, that is a significant drop on um, fears of the new Omicron variant. And you can see red all across the board here today. The S&P 500 down 1.7%. The Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, the Russell 2000 is down 2.66%. Everything in the red here today, um, red across the board as stocks have been very choppy here over the last few days as Omicron is, uh, is hitting the U.S. hard here as well as Delta. Um, we're seeing U.S. average cases well over 100,000 per day here on average. Also, the White House is looking for a path forward here with one of the two different stimulus packages now in play right now. And uh, the White House says that Senator Joe Manchin went back on his word. Remember, there is now two potential stimulus packages. The Build Back Better package, which might need some changes to appease Senator Joe Manchin to get his vote, or will need some changes to get Senator Joe Manchin's vote, or this new COVID stimulus package, virus emergency relief package being called upon by Democratic Representative Jamal Bowman and other House Democrats calling for Congress to, to pass another COVID relief package, another emergency stimulus relief package, which makes perfect sense because with virus cases at over 100 and uh, the average right now is 130,000 new cases per day right now, the Omicron variant now um, spreading very, very quickly here in the U.S. New York just had its highest cases per day just a few days ago, um, the highest ever in the entire state of New York and Washington, D.C. Uh, it kind of makes sense. And uh, the White House says that Senator Joe Manchin went back on his word. And uh, yeah, check this out. And Jeff Mason is back with me. So, Jeff, in the last hour, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki put out that statement. I was referencing it. It's pretty long. It's pretty dense. And it's all about Joe Manchin. Here's in part what she said. Weeks ago, Senator Manchin committed to the president at his home in Wilmington to support the Build Back Better framework that the president then subsequently announced. Senator Manchin pledged repeatedly to negotiate on finalizing that framework in good faith. And then she goes on to say, just as Senator Manchin reversed his position on Build Back Better this morning, we will continue to press him to see if he will reverse his position yet again to honor his prior commitment and be true to his word. Uh, and listen, that's pretty much um, reflecting what Julie Serkin just told us, this just coming in from Pramila Jayapal saying, uh, yeah, he's not a man in his word. So, you know, um, the question is, do you really think the White House had no idea that Manchin was going to pull his support? I, I think that's a, a good 
question because it seems so illogical based on how closely they've been working together. But I think Jen Psaki's statements make, statement makes that very clear, uh, that the fact that he went and said no on Fox News was a surprise. And it's a blow. It's a blow on multiple levels. It's a blow because, as Josh uh, Letterman rightly uh, pointed out, this is President Biden's full agenda. It's all there. It's all there in that bill. And so that was the vehicle. And if, if Senator Manchin now does, you know, absolutely won't support it, then it's 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 just a huge, huge strike against what President Biden and, and many people in his party were trying to push for. But secondly, it's a blow in terms of that that working relationship, which, as you just read out, Alex, in that statement, I mean, if they, they met at President Biden's home in Wilmington and felt that they had his word to move on. So I think this is a long answer on my part to your short question. I don't think they knew. And I think that's one reason that anger is coming out in that statement. Never edit yourself, my friend, on this broadcast. I could listen to you all day. Thank you so much, Jeff Mason. Thanks for sticking around, too. However, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Democrats will not give up on Bill Beck better in the new year. And uh, they're going to pass Bill Beck better or this new stimulus package or both, one or the other, or something going forward, uh, they're not going to give up. and They're going to continue and uh, get uh, relief and multiple different things out to uh, Americans here in the future. Check this out. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat from New York on Monday here today, said Democrats will not give up on Build Back Better Act in the new year. One day after Senate, uh, Senator Joe Manchin, a Democrat <laughs> from West Virginia, I think a lot of people are questioning whether he's a Democrat even more so now, uh, said he will not vote for the massive social spending and climate package in uh, President Biden's legislative agenda. Now, I think that uh, really that kind of means he won't vote for the package the way it is right now. He has said even just a week or so ago, he was willing to vote for $1.75 trillion um, for this package. So they really just need to figure out $1.75 trillion, what he will vote for in that package. So they just need to conform $1.75 trillion to what he will vote for, or this new stimulus package, this emergency virus relief package from Jamal Bowman. This uh, emergency COVID relief package, which is more kind of uh, traditional stimulus checks, and uh, which was stimulus check one, two, and three, were basically COVID relief packages. So um, that might be the route they decide to go here um, for which is what they're calling for here for this next uh, for this new stimulus package here uh, with with Omicron kind of raging on here. That would kind of make sense here going forward as well. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer in a dear colleague letter said the Senate will, quote, consider the Build Back Better Act so that every member of the body has the opportunity to make their position known on the Senate floor, not just on television. So they may actually vote on it to see if Joe Manchin votes no and actually potentially put his vote no in front of the world and uh, potentially maybe embarrass him in front of the world. I, I don't know, or, or just show that he did that in front of the world. He said the upper chamber, upper chamber will hold a vote on the revised version of the House pass package and will, quote, keep voting on it until we get something done. So they may actually hold a vote to see if Joe Manchin actually votes no, and then just revise the package until they actually get him to vote yes. Or maybe vote on the other stimulus package here by uh, Jamal Bowman. He says they're going to keep voting on it until we get something done. So again, they just can, can change the packages until they get Joe Manchin's vote. He says neither that delay nor other recent pronouncements will deter us from continuing to try to find a way former, forward, Schumer wrote, referring to Manchin's opposition of the bill. We simply cannot give up. We must 
must and we will keep fighting to deliver for working families. There's also a big controversial interview going on with Vice President Kamala Harris. Check this out. And some other senators are more optimistic about Senator Joe Manchin as well. This will come right after the Kamala Harris interview. Check this out. So who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden, Madam Vice President? Come on, Charlemagne. I really, come on. I, it's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell no, no, sometimes. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do it's you, Joe Biden. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe, and, it's Joe, and it's Joe Biden, and I'm vice president, and my name is Kamala Harris. There we go, Charlemagne the God. And what's really interesting, I think, is that there's history here between these two people. He's interviewed uh, the vice president before, and we haven't seen that level of intensity. There's a lot of frustration, as you know, Jim, going around in Washington, D.C., among progressives on the left about what the senator from West Virginia, Joe Manchin, has been doing, especially in regards to the president's Build Back Better agenda, and that's just one reflection of it. But the bottom line up on Capitol Hill with Joe Manchin, the Democrats in the White House, is this is how they roll in a 50-50 Senate. Yeah. Well, and Kamala Harris was very, very candid about her feelings there. I thought, uh, I thought that was very interesting. All right, Joe Johns, uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, and more headaches for the Biden administration as the president extends the timeline for his Build Back Better plan once again, uh, which also means more time for Democrats to fight it out in public. This week, heated negotiations and an intense lunch among Democratic senators left some with a serious case of heartburn. What's your general feeling about where things stand? Are you frustrated? Frustrated and disappointed. At this point, is it time to start thinking about maybe breaking up BBB into more digestible pieces? Is this what I, don't know. I don't know if that's the answer or not. Apparently, Manchin's approach to this has changed a lot. I don't know where he is today or where he'll be tomorrow. You can have one person or two people just stop everything, and that is why people in our country should know that a 50-50 Senate sucks and we can't get things done. I'm joined now by that last senator you heard from there, Maisie Hirono of Hawaii. Uh, well, you, t you told it like it is. Uh, being in the Senate uh, can suck, especially when they're uh, are only 50 senators on your side. Um, I guess, what, what is your sense of things right now with Senator Joe Manchin? Um, it, I almost feel like we should take a time out when it comes to mentioning his name on national television because we say it so much. Um, but I say that in jest uh, to some extent. But uh, is it all essentially riding on whether or not he can come to any kind of agreement when it comes to the Build Back Better plan? Is that where we are right now? The last I heard from Joe is that he has an open mind about Build Back Better, so he's not slamming, slamming the door shut. So obviously, discussions are continuing. But doesn't at the same time... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but doesn't he always that say that? Why we keep working on him. <laughs> so uh, clearly with 50-50, uh, you know, with the Republicans not lifting a single pinky to help the people of our country, it all rests on the Democrats. And you only have one party that's governing, that's doing anything to help people, and you have the other party just sitting on their hands doing absolutely nothing. That would be the Republican Party. So at the same time, as I said, Joe has said he's keeping an open mind. That is good enough for me to continue the dialogue and discussions. At the same time, uh, I am very concerned about all of the dozens of voter suppression bills that are being enacted all across the country, even as we speak, Jim. And so we need to pass voter protection legislation ASAP. And I, I do want to talk about that, but um, let me just mention the senator who, uh, who hails from West Virginia one more time here. Uh, CNN's Manu Raju, my colleague, uh, asked uh, the senator about one of the sticking points in the bill, uh, the child tax credit. Let's watch. They're pressuring you to change your position on the no, child tax credit. No one pressures me. Are you, I'm from West Virginia. <laughs> Are you going to change your position on that? Yeah, but the, the way that's in the bill, the one-year extension. I'm always good for child tax credit. I always will be. Um, I, I guess it, I, what's interesting about 
that question and his response. It does go to, I think, the other reporter question that we heard earlier when we were playing some of that sound is, is it time to start thinking about breaking up Build Back Better into the bricks of Build Back Better and perhaps trying to shepherd those through one or two or a few at a time? All of the provisions of Build Back Better will reduce costs for families, for example, child care. Why is it that so many women can't even get back to work because they can't afford or they the child care is not available? So that's a huge uh, issue for our families, child care costs. And then prescription drug costs, lowering those so are really, really important to uh, seniors in particular. And so uh, all of the provisions are important, and I'm not going to stand here and start talking about um, breaking up Build Back Better, but clearly, you know, Joe has said he keeps an open mind, and that's what I'm going with. Yeah, so Senator Joe Manchin says that he is and always has been for the child tax credit. Of course, we know he has been or has said that he wants restrictions on them, though, uh, like an income cap of $60,000 for families, which would be for two people, which would mean that a mother and a father would not be able to make more than $30,000 each. Uh, he has said that in the past. He also said a working requirement, which would mean that both a mother and a father would both have to work. He has said that in the past as well. As of right now, there will be no January 15th monthly check for 60-some million uh, families, the child tax credit. Uh, if they can't pass it before the end of the year. So uh, I will keep you up to date on that. The White House said has said they want to potentially do a double payment in February if they can get this passed. And, of course, they have two different stimulus packages they're pass are talking about passing now, and uh, they'll be negotiating with Joe Manchin to figure out how they can get this passed. Of course, you just heard him say he has always been for the child tax credits, so they're going to have to figure out how to negotiate with him going forward and which stimulus package they're going to want to go, go through. So I will keep you up to date here. Also, let's go with our What's in the Box contest. If you've been watching, I'm going to give away $2,000 here before Christmas. Uh, if you can guess what's in this box, you could win $100 directly from me. I'm giving away $100 to 20 people here for a total of $2,000. Um, if you can guess what's in this box correctly, you'll be entered into the pool of people to uh, that have guessed correctly. And from there, we will have a, uh, a tool randomly pick um, 20 people to uh, to get the money. Uh, that's the, kind of the fairest way is to just have the a tool randomly pick uh, the winners. OK, so uh, I'll be giving you clues every day here. Uh, remember that new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m. 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you're subscribed down to our channel so you don't miss out on new videos. Help us reach our goal of 400,000 subscribers. It's completely free to subscribe. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. There's a share button down below as well. Uh, helps our, um, our videos get out to more people as well. It helps the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. So uh, again, I love bringing you guys the news. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. Again, it's completely free to watch these videos. So with that being said, this is clue number six. Clue number six. So the item in the box has been called overwhelming. Okay. The item in the box has been called overwhelming. Okay. So let me know if you think you know what's in the box. All you need to do to guess is to comment down below. There's a comment section right below this video. Just go down and comment. And uh, you can comment right now and guess. You can guess as many times as you want. Guess on this video. And uh, guess as many times as you want. Uh, that's all you got to do to guess. The item in the box has been called overwhelming. Or maybe it is overwhelming. Yeah, so let me know if you think you know what, what the item is. And uh, yeah, if you guess correctly, you could win money directly from me. Yeah, so uh, we're getting close. That is clue number six. Clue number six. So definitely make sure you subscribe. Don't miss any new videos. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't seen our uh, most recent videos, you can click here for the last video, which will have clue number five. 
and you can click here for the video that has a clue number four. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.